I'm Blair Gilbert, here for MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores, Michigan. I'm here to talk about negative air. Negative air is the fact that you have a lot of appliances in your house that are sending air outside, your hot water tank, your exhaust fans. Air is being spewed outside your home. Where is that air being replaced? How is it coming back in your house? Well, what happens is, here's some of the causes of negative air. I have a hot water tank and a furnace. They are both sending anywhere from 100 to 200 CFMs, cubic feet per minute of air, out our chimney. Our house is being sucked. Our dryer, when you're drying clothes, it's sending 200 feet per minute. Dead fans running, sucking air out of the basement, sending it outside, sucking air out of the house. I have a fart fan in my bathroom. And that's running, and it's sending air outside. Where's that air coming? It's coming in through my windows. It's coming in from underneath the threshold of my doors. It's coming in through my hi-hats in the ceiling of my house. Any of you that have recessed lighting in the ceilings of your kitchen or family room, when the house is negative and it's needing air, that air is being drawn in through all these wrong places. So the hi-hat in my attic, there's insulation up here in my attic. Some of us have blown in cellulose, nasty fine dust. That dust is being sucked in. So what we want to do is, as air is going outside, we want to figure out a way to safely bring air back into the house. So in a furnace, there's a ductwork, you know, where the hot air comes out. There's cold air that comes back into my furnace. And this cold air duct, cold air return, what we do is we run something like a reverse dryer vent from the outside of the house to the cold air return. And what that does is, instead of the cold air coming in through my doors and windows, this is a scuttle. This is a nice unit here. It is kind of like a dryer vent, but without a check valve. It's got a screen to keep out the rodents. Not a particularly easy installation, but in my eyes, required. We run ductwork from this to the furnace duct. We put this on the cold air return of the furnace. As our house gets negative air, and it wants air in, the air can come into the house, baffle will open and let air, this is attached to the cold air return, when our house isn't wasting any air, sending it outside, then this is off. Very little air is being transferred, life is good. Is this one that has kind of like a check valve? They have their own hood vent, same but different, just another company. It's got spring-loaded baffles. So when I need air into the house, these baffles open. This is so important to me. I have a two-story house that has uh, two small furnaces. I have a furnace in each floor. I have a makeup air connected to both of my furnaces. We have air comes in. It comes into the ductwork, the cold air return. So instead of blowing onto my feet because it's coming under my door or blowing onto me while I'm watching TV, it's coming into my ductwork and it's coming into the house through my cold air return. So the coldness is dampened. And best of all, I will now be using air that I didn't heat, I didn't filter, I didn't humidify to run my appliances. Every house should have makeup air on it to replace air that your house is throwing outside. Part of the reason why we're having trouble with makeup air in a house is this day and age, we're doing a better and better job of tightening up our homes. We're buying thermal pane windows. They're being insulated extra well. We're adding more insulation in our attic. We're putting in steel doors with magnetic seals. Our homes are getting tighter and more energy efficient. So now as we get this box more sealed up, we got to do a better job on getting air back into the house to replace the air that's being spewed outside.